on the evening of Friday, December 3rd, the streets of downtown Oxford were closed to traffic so the community could gather together to pay tribute to the victims of the tragedy that took place at Oxford High School on November 30th. Thousands of people of all ages filled the intersection of South Washington Street and Burdick as dignitaries spoke from a stage provided by Oakland County Parks. The candlelight vigil began with a four-minute long moment of silence as church bells rang out in the distance. Oxford DDA Director Kelly Westbrook welcomed those in attendance and offered a message to grieving families. To the families that lost their loved ones, there are no words that any of us have. The only thing that I can say is that we as a community, we are here for you. And that is whenever you need us, we will gather. We will continue to pray for your healing. We want to let you know that even through this terrible event that happened, this does not define us, but it will strengthen us. We will come together like never before. We will help each other out and we will take care of these families because we are Oxford strong. Among the dignitaries that spoke were Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard, Oakland County Executive Dave Coulter, and Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer. I wanna say to all of you how incredibly proud I am of the community, how you've pulled together to help people and how you've poured out your heart and soul to make people feel better in an incredibly impossible and difficult time, including our people who are struggling just like you. The fact that someone can do this to another person is something we can't wrap our head around, but what our role is and what all my partners in public safety, police and fire, we want to stand between evil and you, and we're going to redouble our efforts. So if you feel like we're a little omnipresent in the next few days, my helicopter's up there, it's because we want to make sure you feel reassured that you are protected and you are safe. First, let me just say to the families of the students and faculty wounded or killed earlier this week, I want you to know that this community and this county and this country mourn with you and wrap you in love. You know, we all had hoped and prayed that none of our towns would be added to the list of communities hit by violence in our schools. But on Tuesday, that illusion was shattered for the extended Oxford School community. Four precious children were killed in yet another case of senseless violence in our schools. Tonight, we remember their names. Hannah, Justin, Madison, and Tate. They were teenagers, teenagers, who were also artists and athletes with bright futures ahead of them. I'm here today, obviously I'm an office holder, but I'm here today as a mom. I'm here today as a fellow Michigander. And I want everyone of Oxford to know that moms and dads across this state are mourning with you. Because in a moment like this, we have to come together. We have to hold our friends and our family and our faith close. These last few days have been some of the hardest we've ever had. Michiganders are strong, but we are brokenhearted right now. This week we lost four beautiful young souls. There are others in the hospital and many healing. Thousands in this community have been impacted. We've lived through one of the worst weeks in Michigan history. But this week we've also seen some of the best in one another. We've seen the best in our kids 
who are stronger than we could have ever imagined. We've seen the best in our teachers who acted quickly and saved lives. We saw the best in our Meyer employees who helped reunite families. We saw the best in the doctors and the nurses and the faith leaders who have helped us get through this tough, horrific moment. We saw the best in our first responders who got there so quick. And the best in Michiganders everywhere who have donated money to help the community because they don't know how else they can help, but they are showing love with their action. There are things I want to be remembered for in Oxford, like the home of the original Radio Lone Ranger, Brace Beamer. I want to be known as the gravel capital of the world. They might say this isn't going to define us, but people will define us. We will be reduced to a statistic, but we are always Oxford, right? They are not going to define us because we will not be defined by the tragedy. We will be defined by the people that are standing next to us today. We are not Christians or Muslims or Jews or atheists or Hindus or Buddhists. We're not Republicans or Democrats. We're not progressives. We're not conservatives. We are Wildcats. Oxford. In downtown Oxford, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.